Vehicles and visitors to the Edo State Government House were turned back by security men following what looked like a drama at the entrance. As the protesters continued to pour in, blocking the gate to Government House, some sat on the ground, others simply laid down at the center of the road. The protesters, most of whom claimed to be widows, said they buy the brooms they use in sweeping the streets with their own money and go out even at odd hours to sweep, but could not understand why they should be owed salaries for over six months. I be widow! And I got a husband. Six eight months and they work, they go. And they go pay the salary. Instead of 18,000, they're going to give us 13,000. My husband died July 6. December 20, I start this work. Make I see money to pay my children's school fees. No, no, suffer. Now they suffer. They're not going to give us money. No, they give me my money. I get better. I don't see money go hospital, bear baby things. I agree, what give me? I beg. Because I said, no, guys, man, I make me enter the work. I should now most uh, 100,000. I get my name for 100, for 100. I don't see money there, but I don't see money to train my children for school. Some contractors in charge of the sweepers, who appear to have been discussing the issue with government officials at the government house, came out to pacify the protesters, requesting them to send representatives to join in the discussion. Shortly after that was done, the Deputy Governor Comrade Philip Shaibu arrived the scene and made effort to pacify the protesters. He later explained to newsmen the reasons for the delay in payment of their salaries and efforts put in place by government to resolve it. Because we have discovered that when you leave it in the hands of government alone, there's always some, in the past, it has not worked. Because you dissolve the board, you reconstitute, you still have the same. But as we speak, the SSG have been mandated to have the, a discussion with them to see how we can resolve it. Because even our feedback from the people also show that there are some areas that they are paid and they are not enjoying the benefit. Even after they were addressed by the deputy governor, more groups from different locations kept trooping in to join in the protest. Pius Nsogo reporting.